Recall that when we measure an angle, we center our circle at the vertex of the angle and then measure the arc subtended by the angle's rays in units of a fractional part of the circumference of the circle. When we measure an angle in degrees, we measure the subtended arc in units of 1 360th of the circumference of the circle. Degrees are nice and something a lot of us are familiar with, but mathematicians prefer to use a different angle measure unit called a radian. Now a radian is a unit of angle measure that subtends 1 2 pyth of the circumference of the circle. And this choice of 1 2 pyth of the circumference might seem like kind of a weird choice. Recall, if we have a circle with a radius of r units and a circumference of c units, then c is equal to 2 pi times r. What this tells us is the circumference is 2 pi times as large as the radius. And this number 2 pi has a value of roughly 6.28. So in this diagram, I have the radius here in red, I have it as an arc marked up here, and each one of these tick marks marks off one radius length. So we can see that the circumference is a little more than six radius lengths, and it's actually about 6.28 radius lengths. Now since the circumference is two pi times as large as the radius, the radius of this circle is one two pi of the circumference. So if we have the circumference, one two pi of the circumference always gives us this radius back. So if we go back to our definition for a radian, it's a unit of angle measure that subtends 1, 2 pi at the circumference of the circle. That 1, 2 pi at the circumference is always the length of the radius of the circle. So when we measure an angle in radians, we're actually measuring the subtended arc formed by the angle's rays and units of the radius of the circle. So let's look at an example of this. We have an angle, and we have a circle centered at the vertex of the angle, and the radius of that circle is 2 centimeters. And the angle's rays subtend an arc that is 3.1 centimeters long along this circle. Now to measure this angle in radians, we need to measure the subtended arc in units of the radius of the circle. Now each one of these tick marks along the edge of the circle mark off one radius length along the circle. So if we visually approximate this, it looks like the subtended arc here in red is about two times as long, sorry, about 1.5 times as long as the radius of this circle. Just using this first tick mark here and it's about halfway to the second tick mark. So it looks to be about 1.5. However, we can get a more exact answer for this uh, question of what the radian measure of this angle is. Now, if we wanna measure the subtended arc that has a length of 3.1 centimeters and units of the radius, which has a length of two centimeters, then we can compute the quotient 3.1 divided by two, which tells us how many times as large this 3.1 is relative to the two centimeters. So 3.1 divided by two gives us a value of 1.55, which tells us the subtended arc, which is 3.1 centimeters long, is 1.55 times as large as the radius, which is two centimeters long. And therefore, in this case, the radian measure of this angle, theta, is equal to 1.55. Now, suppose an angle has a measure of two radians, and a circle with a radius of 4.5 millimeters is centered at the vertex of the angle. And we want to know how long the arc subtended by the angle's rays is. Now, we should always start by drawing a diagram. So we have an angle, we'll start with our initial ray at the three o'clock, has a measure of two radians, which looks something like this. So that angle sweeps out two radians. We have a circle with a radius of 4.5 millimeters centered at the vertex of the angle. We've got a circle centered here, and the radius of the circle is 4.5 millimeters. The angle's rays subtend some arc along the circle. And since this angle has a measure of two radians, the measure of that subtended arc in units of the radius is two, which tells us this subtended arc is two times as long as the radius. So the subtended arc is two times as long as the radius, which is 4.5 millimeters. So the subtended arc has a length of nine millimeters. We can generalize these ways of thinking. Suppose an angle has a measure of theta radians 
and a circle with a radius of r is centered at the vertex of the angle, and the arc subtended by the angle's rays is s units long. The radian measure of this angle, theta, is the measure of the subtended arc length, s, in units of the radius r. And the ratio, s divided by r, always tells us the measurement of s in units of r. And therefore, theta is equal to s divided by r. Similarly, the subtended arc length, s, is always theta times as large as the radius, r. And therefore, s is equal to theta times r. We can actually rewrite this as s is equal to r times theta, which is a more popular way of writing this.